Hi, and welcome to this short video, and basically I'm just going to teach you how to SSH, uh, basically from your computer, and I'm only going to show you how to do it in Windows today. Might do it another video for Mac, but there are plenty of videos out there, I'm just going to do my own one. So, basically, first thing is, open Cydia, as you can see, and we're just going to go to search, and then in search, we want to type in S S H. No, we don't. Do we not? Okay, right. In that case, we'll do it separately. First thing, toggle S S H. And then you also want something called automatic S S H. And obviously, you know how to install them, just click, click install, and click confirm. So, once you've got all of them, uh, I think you might have to restart your springboard. Uh, all you're going to have to do is go back to your home screen. And then click on the picture of this funny little fish, which is pretty cool, wearing a tie and sunglasses or whatever. Uh, toggle SSH, just click on that. And then just click enable bit of delay here between what I'm saying and the actual screen, oh well. Um, and now it's enabled, uh, go to your computer and download a program, I'm just going to double check what it's called, WinSCP. There will be a link in this video's description, it's called WinSCP. And basically, you know, just go through the normal download procedure, install it, just as usual. And you should see something which looks a little bit like this. Okay. So it looks a little bit like this. And basically, the first thing we need to do is fill in... In fact, let's not do the host name first. First thing we're going to do is username. So the username for every iPod Touch, iPod, iPhone, and I'm guessing iPad too. Username is root. And the password is alpine. A L P I N E. And then all that's okay. Port number's okay. Now we just need the host name. So to get this, just go back to your iPod Touch. Uh, press the home button. And now we want to go to settings. Now in settings, go to general. No, sorry, don't go to general. Go to Wi Fi. And then you'll see your network name. Press a little blue arrow next to it. Now, here you'll see your IP address. Obviously, I'm going to black mine out, but yours will probably the chances are yours will start with 192.168. Point something. Um, it's not really a massive danger me telling you mine, but I'm just going to bleep it out just because, you know, they say you shouldn't give it up. So. Basically, remember that number. I'm just going to go back to my home menu and then go back to this form and in host name type that number. So, for example, 192.168. Point whatever it is going to be. So, let's just say, for example, yours is 0, 0.0. Um, so you type that in, you got root, alpine, all this is fine, and then save that, and uh, press OK for the save your password anyway thing, and save session as, and basically, you just want to type in something like, for example, mine would be Joe's iPod, or Joe's iTouch, but I've already saved mine, so you click OK, and then it might come up with some other error or whatever, just press OK to that, it's all fine. And now, what we can do next is, I'm just going to reopen WinSCP. There we go, you'll now see, when you open it again, you've now got your preset in this list box. Basically, just double click it, it'll do some searching and whatever else. Searching, connecting, authenticating, using username, authenticating with pre password, authenticating stunk session reading some other stuff, I didn't get the time to see it and then you'll see a screen, I can't fit it in because of the way I've done this video so you can see the iTouch properly 
Yeah, so basically this side, you'll see your documents, and then this other side, we have your iPod Touch. So, <clears throat> from here you can just drag files from your computer into your iPod Touch. And, <clears throat> um, for, let's just say, for example, you wanted to get uh, ROMs for your GBA or GBC emulator, or maybe Sega or whatever else you have. Or NES. Uh, you just want to go back one, so that's just the two dots. Go to mobile, and then go into media. And then from there, you can just go into ROMs, and then you'll see two folders: Game Boy and GBA, or more. You might see a folder that says uh, Sega, or you know, I haven't tried any other ones, or NES. And basically, that's where you drag your ROMs. You just drag them in, then you can go back to your um, emulator application, and then from there they should just be in the list. So, this has been basically a pretty quick tutorial on uh, SSH. Um, that's it really, it's pretty simple stuff, but it can be useful a lot of times, so have fun with it and uh, have a nice day.